Okay. And <clears throat> dear Stephen, Alan, and all members, thank you for everyone here. Good afternoon. And thanks for the acceptance of my traveling award from EOC Global and the organized this presentation in this amazing global meeting. I'm Wei Xuan Zhang from National Chengdu University. Um, I'm glad to stand here to share in my topic on data risk assessment of two and three monoclonal esters and the glycidol esters in Taiwanese population, the implication for food safety management strategy. FSR as first was first assess as the risk for human health risk related to the presence of NCPD and the layer fatty acid esters and the glycidol as the esters in fruit and update their report in 2018. And they conclude that the potential health risk of this contaminant NCPD and GES through the dietary exposures and because of their uh, nephron toxicity, geronal toxicity, and the carcinogenicity. And because of increasing of the pub concern of public health. Uh, most countries, including Brazil, United States, Danish, Germany, and China, also conduct layer risk assessment for their uh, population. In Taiwan, we also conduct two year project to uh, conduct the risk assessment for Taiwanese population. NCPD and the GES work can be produced during uh, refined processing <coughs> in order to remove the unwanted. Uh, color, taste, and odor, because they need to treat it with high temperature, above 200 degree, and these contaminant refined oils might be uh, a, great, a gradient of infant formula, and also using a cooking oil for frying and fracking and baking. And IR has uh, classified the free forms of NCPD and GES uh, as group 2B and 2A, possible and probably carcinogenic to human. And in addition, um, this contaminant also contributes damage on uh, kidney function and uh, reproductive organs. Therefore, our start, our work was to invest, was uh, work carried to investigate the contamination profile of NCPD and GES in processed foods and to conduct a data intake risk assessment of NCPDS and GES for Taiwanese populations, and to explore the contribution of this con contaminant in different food groups, raw materials, and the process of food methods. This is our uh, study for chart. We purchased uh, 280 products from Taiwanese uh, commercial market. And based on the National Food Consumption Database, and the low material cooking methods. And we also developed a uh, LC and method to the large major seven GES and the 24 NCPD years. And we also conduct the data risk assessment for Taiwanese populations and also consider the uncertainty of this exposure parameter using the uh, Monte Carlo simulation. Uh, similar to the previous studies, the concentration of two, NC, two NCPD and three NCPD and three years of the refined oils were higher than those in non-refined oils. And three NCPD years was the dominant compound in this uh, selected oil product. And the following was three years and the two NCPD years. And the palm oil and rice brand oil was contained uh, higher NCPD years and three years. Uh, in the processed food, we find that uh, snack food product and the composite food product have the higher concentration of NCPD and GES. And the contrariness of this, uh, contrariness of this, contrary profile of these two product, food products was similar to the palm oils because the palm oils is the main ingredient in this food, food product. And the, the higher concentration of three NCPD, two NCPD, and three years were co highly correlated to the higher fat content, salt content, and the, the cooking process of baking and frying. 
and the uh, the high is the average daily dose of uh, three NCP, two NCP, and three years was found in two zero to three years old group, and the lowest was found in was found in the uh, above sixty five years old groups. Um, the HALA index of three NCBD and three uh, three NCBD and the two NCBD is were all higher than one, and the margin of exposure for three years were lower than the suggested value from uh, FSA and the draft farm. It indicates that the possible uh, possible uh, possible risk risk the possible health risk for Taiwanese populations. And therefore, we, we also suggest the risk management strategy for consumer, including the selection, suggestion of the oil product and the control their uptake of high fat content food. And also, Hortes announced the uh, reduction guideline of two NCPEs in food for manufacturers. And also for government, we suggest the limitation of NC three NCVD and three years for the edible oil, infant formula, and the sources and systems. And also uh, uh, monitoring program of the high-risk food product is, was, is also suggested. And after our suggestion, uh, uh, the regulation of NC, uh, three NCPD and three years for the food product in was proposed by Taiwan FDA on July 1, 2021. And this take home message: uh, the highest level of two NCBD, three NCBD, and three years was found in edible oil, followed by snack and uh, composite food. The concentration of this contaminant between snack, composite food, and the point oil showed highly significantly correlated. The food with baking, frying, and the fat, high fat salt contained the NCPD and GES level will increase, significantly increase. The 95% HALA index of uh, NCPD is were higher than one, and the 95% um, margin of uh, exposure for glycidol esters were lower than the recommended value for all age and the gender groups. It's indicated that an unacceptable health risk for Taiwanese population. The risk management policy of controlling NCP and G in food product is needed. And this is a con acknowledgement for the funding from the Taiwan Ministry of Ta Science and Technology. And then we also thank all the staff in National Technical University. Thank you.